So the, so the symptomatic idea that we've kind of gone to is this whole idea of constantly adjusting the path for the athlete. The hex bar. The hex bar is a fantastic tool, especially when you've got big, tall people. I work with volleyball players, basketball players. When you've got big, tall people, getting them to hinge at the hip and have good body posture and being able to start doing pulling. But let's not, it be, let, let's not have it be a crutch that we never pull on a regular bar. We still want to use it as a progression to teach them how to pull on a regular barbell. But coach, the, the tall people, the high hip people, they're not able to do it. They're not able. We progress to it, but we still do it. All right? When John Wooden said, we're going to be the best passing team ever, which they were when they were, but Bill Walton wasn't a good passer, did they say, okay, we just won't have him pass? No, he taught, he had progressions and he made him become a better passer. So it's a symptom, but it can be corrected if we have the right systematic approach. Yeah, one size doesn't fit all, but a systematic approach helps all. And all that is, is just differentially, like we said with the shot pedals, that, that was a differential learning assignment. Okay? They didn't all throw the exact same way. But in the end, they self-corrected and got better at throwing than over here. It's just a differentially way of creating or educating the athlete to negotiate the proper path. We need to be better at passing. Okay? You're not going to take to it just like some of the other, like Keith Wilkes and all the other UCLA members. So, but Bill, Kareem, you're just going to have to figure out your, your better way. Right? But we're going to help you with that by this systematic progressive approach.